Feed the neighborhood with a tailgate ready big bow box. It's bow time. JMU football traveled to Atlanta last Saturday to take on Georgia State. The Dukes would dominate in the second half to get the 42-14 win in front of plenty of JMU supporters. I don't think they could match our intensity in the second half. You know, to come down here and pull away with a four-touchdown win, proud of the guys. The fan base is it's really a blessing. It's just great to have, and I appreciate everybody that comes out and shows love every week. JMU's rush attack was a key emphasis in the second half, with the team finishing with 260 rushing yards total in the game. It was good to be able to run the ball like that again and they're having problems with a particular type of scheme and we just stayed with it. Quarterback Jordan McLeod was responsible for all six of the Dukes touchdowns with four passing and two rushing for a standout birthday performance. We saw him out there having fun in the second half making guys miss on blitzes making plays and making plays with his legs. Makes the, everybody smile I think makes everybody happy seeing our quarterback playing good and, and doing everything correct. Heck of a player he's good and he knows how to make plays see the same from him each every week, none changed. My time was going to come, you know, my moment, and uh, to help this team win um, just week in and week out. The team says their offense has continued to improve from game to game, part of that being their ability to rely on multiple different playmakers. Obviously, everybody wants to get the ball, but at the end of the day, we want to get the win. Taji and Zach, they probably don't get the ball as much as every week like everybody else does, but today they showed up when we needed them big time. James Madison will return home for their next two games with UConn first up on November 11th. Kickoff is set for 2 p.m. Reporting from Center Park Stadium for Breeze TV, this is Colby Reese.